All right. Welcome everyone to our Friday contemplative practice. I'm Joanne and I'll be hosting the session today. We're happy to be able to offer a variety of contemplative practices from different spiritual traditions every Friday at noon to help us to center and ground in body, mind, and spirit. Today, Christopher Love will be leading us in a conscious breathing practice from the yogic tradition. Breathe and you dwell in the here and now, says Buddhist nun Annabelle Laity. And it's said that focusing on the act of breathing clears the mind of daily distractions and clears our energy, enabling us to better connect with the spirit within. A bit about Christopher. Christopher is a member of CCC. He's practiced yoga for over 20 years and holds advanced certification with the National Yoga Alliance. He has extensive experience teaching for studios and teacher training programs. You can find out more about Christopher's work on his website, lovechristopher.com. So the practice will last 30 minutes and then we'll open the room for sharing or questions afterwards. Everyone's on mute now and you'll be able to unmute during sharing time. The practice itself will be recorded and the sharing time will not be. And now I'd like to hand it over to Christopher. Thank you, Joanne, and thank you everyone for having me back with you today. Um, the first time we did this was so popular. Uh, I got so many wonderful responses from you that we surely wanted to do it again. Um, everyone, just take a moment and notice whether you're breathing. Notice if it feels like your breath is already a little stuck or shallow. Where do you approach today in your breath? What's happened to you today? What are you thinking about today? Very likely that experience, what happened, what you're thinking, is kind of mirrored in how you breathe how deeply you breathe and the quality of your breath. And so doing breath work is this wonderful sort of side door into the unconscious um, and into um, the uh, subconscious. Um, let me say breathing is one of the simplest things we do in the world. Uh, we just take it for granted. We breathe in, we breathe out. Um, becoming mindful, we say, means notice, noticing our thoughts, our feelings, and our sensations that arise within us from breath to breath. Um, in yoga, pranayama, or breath practice, occurs right at this midpoint in eight limbs of practice. Pranayama is number four, and I just bring that up to say that the breath is that doorway between the lower limbs of yoga, which sort of get us to the mat, <laughs> get us there, um, and those upper limbs of yoga, which are really about transcending the mind and the ego um, and finding inner peace. So the breath is so that just, just that powerful, a doorway to the unconscious. Um, we were te teasing earlier as we gathered that, you know, do you ever forget to breathe? <laughs> We forget to breathe all the time. The good news is that your um, uh, sympathetic nervous system remembers <laughs> for you. Um, we don't just, you know, drop over uh, because we forgot. Um, breathing is part of two different nervous systems, the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. And that uh, sympathetic nervous system is sort of the one operating in fight or flight behind the scenes. Parasympathetic is sort of that place of rest where the breath is just more naturally flowing, more easily flowing. We're in the moment, not caught up in our mind, but real present. And there's peace and joy in that moment, we learn. Uh, through, I'd also like to say, you know, this is prana yama practice. The word prana literally means energy. So through breathing practice, energy practice, breathing practice, we learn that we're actually made of energy. <laughs> that you're not a thing, but you're a phenomenon. 
sort of made of energy and light and heat. So um, through this present awareness that we practice, uh, we come to peace. Uh, simple practices that deepen our breath capacity, ease chronic tension, uh, relax the central nervous system, return us to a more tidal rhythm in our breathing, um, and leave us feeling invigorated. So I say conscious breathing is a full participation with life. Um, easy does it today. It's just breathing. Um, you know, if something's confusing or, you know, a little too much at the moment, just catch up in a moment. Um, our goal is simply to bring some peace and calm into your life today. Um, and I want to say two things, just finally preparing you, that we're sitting upright. We're sitting as upright as we can in a chair. Slouching, recliners, not so great. Put something behind you. Try to sit up as upright as possible. While that feels like a little more effort to sit upright in the short term, believe it or not, it's easier on the back and much easier to breathe. Okay, we're as upright as we can be. And um, let's close our eyes. You can rest your hands in your lap. Rest the weight of your shoulders coming down from the neck. Take a full breath, rising to your heart. And softly a little exhale out. Connect another breath all the way to your heart. As you tune into your breathing, allow it to be relaxed and open. Your breathing natural and your heart easy. Connect your breath. Again, this is not how we breathe into the world. We tend to take a breath every now and then and have big spaces between our cycles of breathing. Connect one breath to the next here. Breathe. I'd like to teach you something called Ujjayi breath in yoga, ocean breath. This literally makes the sound of the ocean in the throat and in the mouth. I'll teach it this way. Everyone take a deep breath with me. Exhale with me. We're breathing through the nose first. Take another inhale through the nose. And exhale. Inhale, nose. You can open your eyes. Let your mouth open. No one's listening to you. Exhale. Nose in. Open the mouth and airway. Sound. Nose in. Do that again, sound. Do it again one more. Nose in. Now nose out. And if you continue to hear that sound in the throat, Ocean breath. Keep hearing that sound in the throat. There are many good reasons for practicing Ujjayi. It meters and lengthens your breathing. For a moment, everybody, with your eyes closed, place your right hand, if you will, on your belly. And if you'd like to, place your left hand up to your heart. Breathe into your belly, into the hand at your belly and breathe into the hand way up at the heart. Deep and exhales all the way through the hips without putting any strain in the shoulders. 
soft belly breathing that rises up to your beating heart. Feel the breath expanding in every direction. The eyes remain soft as the arms release back to your lap. In a few moments, arms release back to your lap. Take a deep breath. At times, your eyes may close in practice when you get your confidence in whatever technique we're using, and at times they can open to see what we're doing. You might open your eyes now. Ujjayi has been practiced. We find ocean breath. One, two breathing is a simple technique. Let's everyone take a deep breath with me in. And all the way out. Let's do that again together. All the way in. All the way out. Now one, two breathing. Breathing in half the time that we breathe out. Inhale now three counts. Inhale one two, all the way up, three, exhale, slowing, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, all the way, one, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's do that again, inhale, three counts, two, and one, slowing, six, five, four, three, two, slow exhales, one. We're extending this to four counts. Inhale, four, three, two, all the way in, one, slowing, eight, slowing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, Three, two, all the way in a one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, your four. Exhale, your eight. Inhale, your four. Exhale, eight counts. I'll leave you for two more cycles on your own. Inhale, four counts. And exhaling, eight counts. Another round. Let your last eight counts empty all the way out. Inhale to a balanced, more, more balanced breath now. As you drift into a few balanced breaths, feel your cycle, the inhale and exhale balancing again. Already the tidal rhythm of your breathing has changed. All right, we're gonna fire things up here a little bit. An energetic practice called Kabbalabhati or breath of fire. This is not meant to produce undue strain in the shoulders as we breathe or any tension anywhere. In fact, it's a tiny little exhale through the diaphragm. Little inhales will happen between these things. You'll be focusing little short exhales through the nose and feeling your diaphragm just pulse a little into your back. You'll get it. Everybody take a deep breath with me in. And out. Let's do that again. Just fill it up in. And out. Now, take a little partial breath in and through the nose, a short little exhale. About one every second. Shh. 
short little exhales through the nose. Little inhales happen between them. Keep it going, keep it going, a few more. Good, everybody, take a deep breath, fill it up in. All the way out. Breathing in. All the way out. We're going to do something called Kumbhaka now. Take a little partial breath in, a little partial breath in, maybe two-thirds capacity. Hold at the top of that little breath. Hold, suspend, hold. And exhale. All the way out. Good. All the way in. And all the way out. Folks, another round of breath of fire. A little partial breath in and through the nose, exhales. Just little ones. Diaphragms. Speed it up a little if you'd like. Energizing, breath of fire, everyone breathing in fully. All the way out. Fill up another. All the way out. A moment of holding, kumbhaka, retention. Take a little two-thirds breath in. A little ceiling of a swallow. Hold. Hold. Suspend. Try to relax. Hold. And exhale. Fill up in. Empty exhale. Everybody fill up your breath. I feel like I want everybody to just shrug your shoulders a couple of times. Just relax the shoulders. If any tension has found the shoulders or neck, oh, relax that out. Everybody, your arms just resting on your lap. I'd like to offer you one more round. Kabalabhati. Take a little breath with me in and through the nose. Keep going, keep going. Like there's a little candle flame right in front of your nose and with a little, you're trying to blow out that candle with your nose. I don't know. Everybody, shall we? Fill it up. All the way out. Fill up another. All the way out. Folks, take a little two-thirds breath in. Swallow, seal the throat, little swallows. Hold, suspend. You've held a little breath in. See if for a moment you feel suspended, relaxed. And when it feels right, just let it go. Exhale. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Breathe. 
Just watch your breath in Anapana meditation, observing your breath. Hear your breath sweep. We've already practiced, practiced a little breath retention. We just add one in this next practice called three-part breath or Durga Pranayama. Three parts. Everyone, breathe, breathe with me in, fill it up. Empty it out, exhale. Let's just do that again. Everyone, fill up your heart. Exhale. Three parts, all the way in. Exhale about one third of your breath and pause. Exhale another third, about two thirds out and pause. Then empty the last third. Inhale, fill up. All the way out. Inhale, fill up. In every direction the body expands. And all the way out. Good, second round. All the way in, everybody, fill up. Exhale, one third of your breath and hold. Suspend, hold. Exhale, two-thirds out, hold. Empty that last third, exhale. Inhale. Empty, exhale. Breathe. Fill up another breath with me in. Every direction expands. All the way out. Last round. Fill one up. One third out. Hold. Two-thirds out, hold. When you'd like to, empty out. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your breath return. to this great tidal flow. They call this ocean breath Ujjayi. I like to imagine sometimes that my physical body as I experience it is a great coral reef over which flows back and forth my breathing. Our last breath exercise holds the potential to bring great peace and calm and balance in the mind. Alternate nostril breathing might seem a little uh, silly at first, but uh, very powerful. Bring your right hand in front of your face, curl your index finger and middle finger down. Right hand is in front of you, palm facing you. Your index finger and right fin uh, middle finger curls down. At times, the thumb will close the right nostril, and at times, the ring finger will close the left nostril. So the hand works like a valve to direct the breath through one nostril or the other. I will lead you. Bring the right hand in front of your face like this. Close your eyes. Deepen a breath. Empty another. Let's take another, fully in. 
and out. Very well. Cover the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale, left nostril. Switch, cover the left nostril with the ring finger. Exhale, right. Keep the left closed. Inhale, right. Switch, cover the right. Exhale, left. Good, inhale, left. Cover the left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. And inhale, right. Exhale, left. Allow the hand to fall back to your lap. Breathe both nostrils in. And both nostrils out. Now, as an awareness exercise, keeping both nostrils open, feel your breath entering the left nostril and flowing exhale out the right. With both nostrils open, inhale your breath through the nostril, the right nostril. Feel the breath, exhale left nostril. Just sense what you can feel. Inhale, left nostril. And exhale, right. Inhale, right. And left. We drift into a time of meditation and calm breathing. Allow this wonderful quality to remain soft, flowing, present, and relaxed. As you remain breathing, you might wish to keep your arms in your lap. You might wish to return to something we did at the beginning of our practice, placing your right hand softly on your belly, and only if it produces no strain in your shoulders, the left hand might lift to rest on your heart. <coughs> softly breathing, expanding into your heart. As a church, we so often practice gratitude. Words on gratitude as we end our practice today by Jack Cornfield. Gratitude is confidence in life itself. In it, we feel the same force that pushes grass 
through the cracks in the sidewalk and invigorates our own life. Gratitude receives in wonder the offerings of rain and the earth and the care that supports every single life. Allow your body to be relaxed and your heart easy. Allow this moment of gratitude, feeling how this year you have cared for your own life and how others among you here have supported you in this care. As our hands fold in our hearts, in Anjali Mudra, we may take a traditional blessing to bow to each other. In yoga we say, Namaste. The light in me sees the light in you. Welcome back. <laughs>